Hello, I'm Dr. Kim Hodgson, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about the history of endovascular surgery. The term endovascular refers to the treatment of blood vessel disorders from inside the vessel using balloons, stents, and other devices. These less invasive treatments, while not suitable for all patients, avoid the incisions, anesthesia, and convalescence typical of alternative surgical treatments. The earliest endovascular procedures provided only diagnostic information, demonstrating areas of atherosclerotic blockage or aneurysmal degeneration, which were subsequently treated with surgery. The last two decades, however, have witnessed an evolution of technological innovation that now allows many conditions to actually be treated with a minimally invasive endovascular procedure. The earliest of these therapeutic interventions that is still routinely utilized is simple balloon angioplasty, which enlarges the flow channel of a blood vessel narrowed by atherosclerotic plaque by fracturing the plaque and stretching the blood vessel. While balloon angioplasty is sometimes sufficient treatment on its own, irregular fracturing or recoil of the plaque can compromise the results and lead to the development of stents, which support the fractured plaque while it heals. Since the original Palmez stent was approved for use nearly 20 years ago, technological advances have made stents more flexible and their delivery systems smaller, both of which result in an easier and safer treatment. While a definite improvement over balloon angioplasty alone in many situations, stents are not always effective, which has led to current research into drug coatings on stents and balloons, which it is hoped will further improve the results of endovascular therapy for atherosclerotic blockages. Evolving along a parallel track, endovascular treatment of degenerative aneurysms of blood vessels using stents covered with fabric, termed endografts, shares many similarities to treatments for atherosclerotic blockages, but with key differences. While devices to treat blockages result in improved blood flow, endografts are designed to prevent aneurysm rupture by effectively relining the weakened segment of blood vessel. Originally developed to treat aneurysms of the aorta and the abdomen, further evolution of these devices now allows a variety of conditions affecting the majority of the aorta to be treated with an endovascular procedure. Even when not solely treatable by an endovascular means, hybrid endovascular and open surgical procedures have been developed to allow an expanded list of conditions to be treated in a less invasive way. Research is currently underway to develop endographs to address the remaining conditions and locations currently only treatable by open surgical means. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.